obviously coming in in my first year, you know, looking for a repeat, and um, man, we had some some household names like Ryan Cotty, Kieran Reid, Luke Romano, and you know, the list goes on. And I think being such a youngster, um, the opportunity to be able to, you know, working alongside, I guess, the amount of talent and experience in that room really gets me in a lot for me. And um, you know, second to none, being able to learn off players like that. So yeah, it was definitely a special time. So yeah. you know, the first thing I learned, you know, was how well this franchise deals with pressure. I mean, it's a common saying, you know, pressure is, is a privilege. Um, for me at a young age, the first thing I learned about being in this environment was almost that, you know, for us, pressure, this team was a lifestyle. Um, it was something we grew the love. Uh, we enjoyed being, I guess, in the heat of it. Um, I think in the early stages of my career, I, you know, I was very fortunate enough to have two, two special brothers uh, up in Tasman at the time, uh, the Goodman brothers. Uh, Chris Goodman and uh, Andrew Goodman, who actually coached down there a few years ago. Um, yeah, I was real fortunate at a young age that you know, they're, they're two, I think, massive I guess, icons in my life that I really looked up to. And um, you know, for them to put me under, under, under their wings was something special. Um, so, growing up the ranks, I had Andrew Goodman as almost my mentor on field, uh, helped me with my skills, uh, training wise, uh, anything that game related. Um, and then on the other side, I had Chris Goodman, who I guess helped me alongside, I guess, building me into a good man, uh, making sure I nailed everything off field. I guess to be a successful athlete, um, you can only do and win so much on field, but I think the, the major gains you get to be able to succeed on field is what you do off field. Man, I've, I've had some awesome coaches uh, here in the Crusaders. Man, we have again, Rona Gara, um, obviously Andrew Goodman, um, and now even the last few years with Thomas Ellison, uh, Scott Hansen and you know, Razor. Um, some coaches in, in my career, uh, amongst the top five best coaches I've ever been coached by. They're not sort of your uh, everyday coach, you know what I mean? Where you, know, you can you come across coaches who are similar to coaches you've had before. And, but I think with these guys, you know, they're, they're who they are. And I think that's what makes it so special is you really love that. It sort of makes you open up who you are as a person too and that's the one thing about the Crusaders and you know, everyone can be who they are and you know it's not something you know we we shy away from and it's something we embrace yeah I think Ray's quite up there I guess in, in my eyes um just the way he goes about his work um but most importantly the way he's able to influence a player not only on field but off field uh I guess just to bring the best out of themselves um and when you're enjoying every day um you know it shows out on the field and that's something he nails and you know, I'm, I'm truly grateful, so yeah. I think personally for me, you know, it was sort of a realisation that this is probably going to be the last time I'm going to be able to perform in front of the home crowd. Um, in front of, you know, fans that have been there since day one, um, in front of family and friends and obviously it's an opportunity to earn another week and yeah, I sort of had that back in my mind from my prep was that, you know, if, if this was the farewell, you know, I want to make sure, you know, it was a good one and got off to a good start and uh, yeah, got into that second half and sort of, you yeah, had to play, making sure I got a line break and, yeah, going from there and, um, yeah, it was funny that whole week. Um, Leo, who actually passed me the ball, Leo yeah, passed it to me during the whole training run and I told him, I was like, man, come game there, like, just give me the ball and we'll see what happens. And... Taylor with the line out throw. Good work, moved it away. Oh. Now here's a charge right up the centre. Couldn't get the power. Oh. Oh. What a try. Oh. Look at the emotion as well. Uh, adrenaline kicked in, uh, the passion for the jersey, and um, I guess the pride for it, and most importantly the care I had for it, and the people that were witnessing sort of, yeah, sort of came out in emotion and expressed it, and, yeah, it caught me by surprise and all the boys jumped in too and I think I mean, that's probably a highlight of my career and, and the rear and back jersey is just is that moment, you know, having not not the try but just the passion shown and the emotions amongst us really showed I mean, how much it meant to us. Um, so it was definitely a special moment and one I'll cherish for us, yeah. I think I miss everything, eh? The the environment, the coaches, the players. 
this community, um, just the club itself and what they stand for. It sort of leaves a bit of a, a tear in the heart, um, knowing you know everything you put into this club and um, and at the same time everything the club's put into you. You know it's it's quite special. So this club's almost given me, I guess, my identity. It's who I am. Um, I guess as a son, as a friend, as a player. Um, you know, it's a club that's that's really influenced a lot into who I am. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, I think I've learned so much here, eh? and um, it's given me so much too. But yeah, because that's two, three, five. Almost sends you on a I guess a journey down memory lane. I think um, before Crusade 235, you know, there was Lester Fainuku, the, the school kid, the academy player and the club player, you know, and obviously the Tazer Mark player. And to get to become Crusade 235 is a blessing, really, to be given the opportunity and gifted the opportunity to be a part of a club that, you know, many respect and I know for sure many dream of being a part of and yeah being blessed with Crusade 2 5 is something so special because um, you know I'm part of a family and a legacy um, that's been built for years um, before I arrived and uh, the legacy there will continue to build you know, when my time is up so yeah it's a special place to be um, and definitely a special number to be given so yeah